I'm going to demonstrate this move as if I would started the form facing you. So directly toward you is south, away from you is north. And this movement continues to the north, just like our last movement. So we were facing the north at the end of our last movement. We're going to continue in that direction through this movement. And then our next movement is going to turn us to face south. Our last movement was a right brush knee and push going in the north direction. So we had our right leg forward and our left hand forward. From here, we rock back. We're going to turn our bodies over to face east. At the same time, we're going to sweep our hands back so that the right hand is palm up, the left hand is palm down. Left hand's next to the shoulder, right arm's extended out. So from our last movement, we rock back, lifting the right toe. Pivot on the heel, turning the body toward the east. Shift to the right foot and bring the hands so that the right hand's palm up, left hand is palm down next to the right shoulder. We're going to step through with the left foot, touching with the heel. And as we step through, we're going to start to bring the right hand up and drop the left hand down. The right hand turns into a fist, and we're going to sweep across the front of the body with the left hand and punch down diagonally toward the floor as we shift forward, punching with the right hand. Again, facing north, rock back. Turn to the east, pivoting on the right heel, the left hand pushes across, drops down to the right shoulder, the right hand comes up, palm up. As we step through, continuing to the north with the left leg, the right hand starts to come up and the left hand starts to drop, and the right hand is going to turn into a fist. Touch with the left heel, brush across the front of the body with the left hand, punch down toward the floor with the right hand. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I had started the form facing this way. So this would be south for me, behind me would be north, and that's the direction that we were facing at the end of our last movement. From our last movement, we had our right leg forward, pointing toward the north. We were pushing with the left hand toward the north. Rock back, lifting the right toes. Pivot on the heel of the right foot, pushing across the body with the left hand, turning toward the east. The hands are going to continue through, so the right hand turns palm up, left turns palm down, and they meet at the same level at shoulder height. As you step through with the left leg, you're going to start to drop the left hand, bring up the right. Right hand turns into a fist. Step, brush across the front of the body with the left hand, and punch down with the right hand. For my last movement, facing to the north, rock back. Turn toward the east, pushing across the front of the body with the left hand, pivoting out with the toes of the right foot. Left hand drops down to the right shoulder. Right hand comes up to shoulder height, palm up. As you step through, drop the left hand, bring up the right, and the right hand turns into a fist. As you shift forward, you're going to brush across the front of the body with the left hand and punch down with the right. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I had started the form facing away from you. So this would be south for me, directly towards you would be north. We finished our last movement with the right leg forward and the left hand forward, facing to the north. From here, rock back. Turn the right foot away from your center line. Left hand pushes across the front of the body. As you shift to the right foot, the left hand drops down to shoulder height. The right hand comes up to shoulder height, palm up. You're going to step through with the left foot, bringing the left hand down and the right hand up. Touch with the heel. The right hand turns into a fist. And as you shift forward, you punch down toward the floor with the right hand, brush across the front of the body with the left. Again, from our last movement, we're going to rock back. Start to turn the body toward the east or toward the right side. Left hand pushes across the front, drops down to shoulder height, palm down as the right hand sweeps up, palm up. As you step through, the right hand continues up, the left hand continues down, right hand turning into a fist. Shift forward, brush across the front with the left, punch down with the right. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I had started the form facing this way. So this is south for me. That would be north. So that's the direction that I'm facing at the end of our last movement. From our last movement facing to the north, we're going to rock back, start to turn toward the east, turning toward the right side of the body is another way of looking at it. So the right toes turn out, left hand pushes across the body toward the right side. As you shift forward toward that right foot, your hands are going to continue through so the right hand is palm up, the left hand is palm down. So from here, we rock back, turn, shift. As you step through, the right hand is going to continue to come up, the left hand is going to continue to drop. 
right hand turns into a fist, shift forward, punching down with the right, brushing across with the left. Still facing to the north. From our last movement, facing to the north, rock back, turn toward the east, left hand pushes across, drops down to shoulder height as the right hand sweeps up to shoulder height. Step through with the right foot, touching with the heel, and as you sweep through with that foot, continue moving the right hand up and the left hand down. Right hand turns into a fist. Brush across the front of the body with the left hand, shift forward, and punch. All together, the movement looks like this. This punch is coming out horizontally. So if I was to stick my thumb out, it would be pointing toward the left side of my body. But instead of coming out at shoulder height, it's pushing down toward the floor. But that same orientation is the same. When it's down toward the floor, if I was to stick my thumb out, it would be pointing toward the left side of my body. The punch that we've done before with the step forward, parry, and punch was a vertical punch. So if we were to push our thumb out in that punch, it would be pointing toward the ceiling. This one's different. It's not a vertical punch toward the floor. It's a horizontal punch where the thumb would point toward the left side of the body when we do that punch. It's just aiming toward the floor instead of aiming out in front. So when we punch, we want to make sure we're aiming with the first two knuckles. So index finger and middle finger. Those are the two that we're aiming with when we come out with our vertical and with our horizontal punch that we're doing in this movement. Well, that's all that there is to this movement. I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you for watching.